Alright, hello everyone. We're here with another rando room strat. Today we're going to be looking at Meyer 2. So, this room has a lot of things going on, so it makes it pretty difficult to do quickly. So let's take a look at what we're dealing with. So, our first main issue is these popos, as they can kind of randomly walk around. It's not very fun. We have the whiz robes that kind of pop in and out. And then of course the Beemos is kind of shooting at us while we're trying to kill all these enemies. So it's quite the difficult room to deal with. But if we know the right strategies, we can make it a bit less horrible. The most important thing about this room is to get the one cycle on the whiz robes. That'll be our main focus, looking at all the different items we can use to do that. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our first strategy. Okay, so that was the fast mire, which is the optimal way to do this room. It's pretty difficult to do, so we're going to go step by step and talk about how to do it. So once again, I want to get rid of the sprites. Talk. So, first you want to hold right to cancel stair lag. So stair lag is when you come down from a stair, if you like move, Link will stutter a little bit, but if you hold left or right out of the door, it will cancel that stutter and save a few frames and allow you to act a little quicker, and we want that. So you hold right out of the door after you turn, sword beam this popo on the left, then dash here to kill this popo. From here we want to dash upwards, and where we dash is kind of important. We want to be kind of around this area. If we're too far to the left, then this popo here we might miss if he stays right so you don't want to be too far left and if you're too far to, if you're all the way to the right with the wall you'll bonk and if you're kind of like just a little bit off from the wall you'll get this really hard nudge here which will slow you down a lot and not allow you to actually do this room properly so you want to avoid nudging not just here but basically anywhere in the game nudging is going to slow you down Unless you're trying to set up a key dash, you probably don't want to nudge. Anyways, we want to dash here. We want to stop at about halfway of this rail here. At least halfway. You can be a little bit over, but not too high. It's kind of tight spacing. If you're too low, the BMOs will shoot you. If you're too high, your sword beam will not hit the popo. So about halfway, shoot your sword beam to hit the popo. From here, you want to diagonal walk up to about here and slash your sword as you can see the sword slash the left part of it goes through the rail this will actually hit the whiz robe and kill that one here from here you shoot a quick fire rot shot to the right hitting the right whiz robe then you want to after facing right hold diagonal upright to make sure you're facing right and then upright from there you want to shoot two quick sword beams here to kill the whiz rope and the popo. You want to make sure that you're high enough that you hit the popo, because if you, or not hit the popo, but hit the whiz rope, you want to hit the whiz rope first. If you hit the popo and then try to kill the whiz rope, it will teleport away and you won't get the one cycle. So you want to kill the whiz rope first before hitting the popo. After hitting both of those, you just kind of walk off and go out the room. That strategy is pretty difficult though, so there's a bit easier one using the fire rod and sword beams. So let's look at that. So this is the easy Meyer 2 strategy that's pretty much the same as the fast mire too, except for you're not killing that popo under the rail. So after killing here, dashing up, 
you would just dash past this. So if you happen to nudge and you're going really slow, then you want to not try to do fast mire and just go up here and do the... From here, if you're doing the easy one, you can actually turn and slash, which makes it a little easier to kill this one instead of the positioning. It's a little tighter for doing the up slash. So you can slash, fire rot, and then double slash, and then kill the popo down here. The thing is, the RNG is really dependent on how fast it'll be, since this popo has... It can do a lot of things. There's kind of three things it's going to do. Either it's going to stay in place, it's going to move... Actually, it's four, I guess. But it'll stay in place, it'll move left a little bit and stay, it'll move far left, or it'll move kind of right. It can kind of do far right, but that doesn't generally happen. So, if it stays place, you kind of have to walk down to kill it, which is unfortunate, because this beam ounce will block the sword beams. If it walks kind of over here to the left and stops, that's ideal, because then you can just, from up here, sword beam it and kill it. If it goes right, then from here, you can walk right and sword beam it. But if it goes far left, you actually have to walk all the way down here and then sword beam it. And then generally you want to dash up. But that can... That RNG can lose you, like, over a second. So, just keep that in mind. Anyways, in Rando, we can possibly come in here with lots of items. So let's look at some of the other things we can use to clear this room. Okay, so this is the bow strategy, and it's very similar to the fire rod that we just did, except for the difference of we want to kill the right with rope first. Right, so we have our beams opening, beam, dash, dash, we're doing, if you have beams, you do that opening every time. But from here, you want to shoot a arrow to the right. And you need to shoot that first. If you kill the left whiz robe and then try to shoot the arrow, it the, the whiz robe will teleport away before you get the arrow reaches him. So it's really important that you kill him first. And then from there, just upright, kill the others too, like we've always been doing, and chase down that popo under the rail. So this is the ice method, very similar to the bow method. <laughs> All these strats are very similar, where you do your beam opening in here. With the ice rod, you actually can kill the left beamos and then kill the right first, but it's a little tighter just because the ice rod does travel slower than the fire rod, so it's not mandatory to shoot the f right one first like the bow, but recommended. Other than that, you clean up the room the same way. So, we had our Cane of Samaria strategy, which is a little different, as we saw. Opening's the same, and everything. But after killing the popo and dashing up, we want to lay our Samaria block about there. We want to be a little bit lower, so that the block's kind of in the middle of the rail. Because if you come up too high, it won't kill the whiz robe. And interestingly, since we don't have to slash this left whiz robe and use the Samaria block, it gives us a chance to slash the Popo if it happens to come left. I actually ended up getting the RNG where he was going to go hard left and I'd have to chase him down, but because with the Samaria, I could shoot it and beam him before he went too far to the left, which was really nice. And then of course, 
slash the wish robe and popo up here to kill and then exit the room so so far we've always had beams opening but no beams opening is different for every item so we're going to look at that now Okay, so that was the fire rod with no beams strategy. So let's look at that. For this one, you want to make sure that you shoot the fire rod to kill here since you don't have beams. Dash over and dash up. Then shoot here. If the popo ends up coming like down here in this area, you can fire rod it. Or if it's down here also. And you can kind of hope that the splash damage can get around the um, BMOs here, if you're lucky. When waiting for the door to open, you kind of want to be towards the side to bait the BMOs to shoot here, so that you can kind of sidestep it while the door opens and then go into cleanly. Okay, bow, no beams. With this one, we want to kill... Let's go down first so we can look. So here, cancel stair leg, shoot the bow right, dash left, dash up. And then we can shoot the arrow, slash, slash, slash. And then if it happens to go stop left or right, you can use the an arrow, another arrow to kill the popo if it moves. If it comes far left or far right, you kind of have to go over towards it and kill it with a sword or like arrow and then dash up, which, like I mentioned before, can lose a lot of time. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but the bow is much better for a ranged killing than the fire rod is because of not having that burning that has to go on before it dies. Okay, so this is the ice rod with no beams, which, as you can see, can go pretty bad depending on the RNG, even more so than a lot of the other strategies. So, because if you use the ice rod on the popos, it's just going to freeze them and not kill them. So you actually have to walk over and kill this one and then dash over to kill the second one. If you try to dash up, because you had to walk to kill the popo, it takes so long that dashing won't actually hit the whiz robe and he'll have time to teleport away. So you have to walk up, slash it, and then dash up. Unfortunately, this gives the popo a chance to kind of wiggle away somewhere. If it stays here in place, that's nice, and it helps you out. But as like in the video, if it goes to the left, you're just going to miss it, and you, there's not much you can do, because you want to get the one cycle on the whiz robes, so that kind of takes priority. So, but from here, slash, beam, and like that, and then chase down the popos. Both of them, in that pre-recording I did, went left, and then I dashed up. It took a lot of time, but sometimes there's just nothing you can do. Okay, and last we have Samaria with no beams. This one's a little interesting because of how it opens up. So you want to hold left out of the stair to cancel the stair lag and then quickly lay a block and 
explode it to kill both the popos. From there, you want to quickly dash left and dash up. The timing is a little tight, so if you're slow on doing the block, you actually might miss the whiz rope from there. From there, you want to dash up and lay the block and explode it and then kill. I ended up getting lucky where I missed the slash on the popo, but I could actually lay the Samaria to kill both the top one and the bottom one. A little lucky in that case. As you can see how much RNG can really affect these runes. Okay, so that was a beams only strategy. So, even though we're not able to get one cycle on the whiz ropes, it's still a pretty solid way to clear the room. Right, so we start with our beams opening, as always, from here. We do two slashes. You want to delay the slashes just a little bit, because if you do too fast, the second slash won't shoot out a beam. But you want to kill that popo and the whiz rope on the right, and then killing this whiz rope on the left. While this up whiz robe is teleporting, it gives you a little time to come down and kill this last popo. Then you want to be waiting up by the door. You want to be kind of left by the door, like we saw before, so that when the BMO shoots up, you can take a step right and then kill this last whiz robe so that you can exit the door right when it opens. Alright, well, those are all the different ways I've been able to find to do this room quickly. I haven't looked much into this room without boots, but from the s small amount of messing around I've done, I was not able to find a way to get a one cycle on the whiz robes or anything like that. So, anyways, if you know of any other strategies on how to clear this room quickly, please let me know. I always love learning about new ways to do rooms quickly. So, make sure to practice and save those frames. See you next time.